In this video series, we're going to build a simple Instagram clone called Instafire. What we're building has the same fundamental ingredients of most apps, user authentication, storing custom data in our backend, and dealing with resources such as images. We're going to use a technology called Firebase, which is what thousands of apps and startups also use. We'll talk more about the technology we're going to use and the concepts underlying them in the next video, but first, let me do a demo of the app. So here's the main screen of the app. You can see a list of posts, a list of Instagram posts ordered by recency. The first post at the top is made by Nathan 40 minutes ago of the Rochester Michigan Light Show. And below that is a post I made 16 hours ago, which is my favorite picture of pandas. So if I go into the profile, you can see that I've made two posts. One is the panda and then one is uh, me looking like a hipster. So if I go back and now I tap on this floating action button in the bottom of the screen, this will allow me to create my new Instagram post. So you need to choose an image. And I made banana bread the other day, so I'm gonna make that the topic of my next post. And I'll leave a caption here of banana bread. And then I'm going to submit. This will take a second or two to talk to the back end and upload the data. And once that's done, we automatically get navigated to our profile. And you can see that this has now become the most recent post, which makes sense. So this is a picture with the caption we added zero minutes ago of the banana bread. And if I tap back, I now get back to the main screen, which is a list of posts from all users. And this is the most recent post, the banana bread. We're going to build exactly what I just demoed here. We won't spend too much time on design or animation because I want to keep this app really streamlined and maximally relevant to whatever you're building, whether you're following along in this project or you wanna apply the concepts here into your own project. This app is really fun to show off to your friends and the whole thing is about 200 lines of code. We'll get started in the next video by talking about Firebase. Don't forget to subscribe so you can get notified when the next parts come out and I will see you in the next one.